Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can install Windows 11 in VMware Workstation with Trusted Platform Module Support, TPM. There are some things to consider, some settings to be made, and well, let's get started. Everything I want to describe here is also available in this blog post. I will put the video, uh, the link in the video description. Okay, now let's get started. I have started VMware here, and the first thing we need to do is we need to have a Windows 11 ISO file. And you can download that from the internet. Um, there's a download page for Windows 11 here. And at the bottom here is the possibility to download an ISO image from Windows 11 or for Windows 11. You just have to select the download and then you can select the language, the product language, for example, English. And then you have to confirm it and then you can download the Windows 11 ISO file here. I already have done that and after that you can start with the installation in VMware. Okay, let's do that. Let's create a new virtual machine here and we will select the typical recommended option in the first screen here. Click next and then we can already select the installer disk image, the ISO file we have downloaded. In my example here I've already downloaded the file here. Click open and then hit the next button. Now we are getting asked what operation system or uh, guest operating system we want to install. Of course, it's Windows. And in the options section here, there is Windows 11 not available yet. I've downloaded the new version from VMware Workstation. However, Windows 11 is still missing. So for now, we select Windows 10 or later in the 64 bit edition. Click next. Now we can enter a name, Windows 11, and we can also uh, define a location where we, we want to put the VMware files. Click next. Now we can select the disk capacity. Windows 11 needs at least 64 gigabytes. So we have to adjust the value here a little bit. So we are above the 64 gigabytes. Next. And now we have finished the creation of our virtual machine. However, we have not added TPM support yet. If we click customize hardware, the first thing we can do is, or we should do, is to increase the memory for the virtual machine. Uh, as for the storage, Windows 11 needs at least four gigabytes of RAM. So we have to adjust the value here to at least this value here. And then we can add, or at least try to add the trusted platform module here. And as you can see, there's an error message here. The virtual machine must be encrypted and using UEFI firmware. So we cannot add the trusted platform module here. So for now, we can just hit the cancel button and click close here. We made our adjustment for the memory, but now we click the close button. Okay, Windows 11, the virtual machine is created here. And now we click on this edit, uh, edit virtual machine settings here. And this gives us a similar screen. We can adjust the hardware here. It's basically the same page. However, we have this options tab here uh, at the top of the screen. And in this option tab, we have access control and currently it says not encrypted. And in order to get TPM working, we need to encrypt our virtual machine. We have to enter a password. You have to remember that, of course, because otherwise you cannot uh, access the virtual machine afterwards. Encrypt shouldn't take too long because the virtual machine is already um, is still empty. Now we go back to hardware and now we can add our TPM module or trusted platform module. As you can see, the error message is now gone and we can now add the trusted platform module to our virtual machine. Okay, and basically that's it. We click OK here and then we power on the virtual machine and then the installation should be starting. And as you can see, it now boots from the ISO image we have provided for this virtual machine. And then the installation starts. Click Next, Install Now. Then you can enter a product key or you can just say, I don't have a product key here. Select the edition you want to install. After that, the license terms 
will be shown. We accept those, click on next. We make a custom install here and then we can use the entire disk space here by just clicking next and then the installation starts. And well, that's about it. The installation will now start and you can continue with the installation here and do the basic setup of Windows and Windows 11 now runs in VMware Workstation Pro. This only works for VMware Workstation Pro for now as the player, the player edition currently has no TPM support, but I have another video where you can yeah, get around this TPM check if you look on our web page. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.